What's up all my Ewok Shibbles droids and Wookiees, it's Anna, also knows it's Star Wars Girl, and I'm going to be talking about, once again, how I was right! I was right, I was right, I was right, again. <laughs> now, for those that do not know, if you guys are looking at the screen here, you guys can see the thumbnail from my previous video uh, from yesterday. But so, uh, let's see, uh, a little bit over, I had almost a week ago, six days ago, I put out this video about how Patty Jenkins, who is the director of Wonder Woman, and uh, she's going to be directing Cleopatra and Wonder Woman 3. They announced, they did the big whole thing about how she's going to be the first female director directing a full feature-length film for Star Wars. And Kathleen Kennedy over there going, the force is female, hashtag all that good stuff, wham and power. And it's like, hmm, that's funny, Kathleen Kennedy, since you're all about wham and power, you're all about diversity, you're all about that. Then how come when you got, you had the opportunity to start off the new sequel trilogy of Star Wars, why did you hire all men to do it instead of women? Why did you hire all white men to do it? Uh, I know that J.J. Abrams is Jewish. I don't know if some people are like, that counts as white, other people are not. I don't, I don't know. I'm just like, hey, they're pretty, they're pretty pale. Him and Ryan Johnson are pretty freaking pale if you, you know, judge a person based on the color of their skin. I personally don't, but we're going off of Disney standards. They're all like, we want diversity. We want whammon. And it's like, huh, how come it took you years, years upon years to hire a woman to direct a Star Wars movie? You could have done it with the sequels. You could have done it with Soylo. You could have done it with Rogue One, but you didn't. Isn't that funny? Isn't that kind of ironic? And so they did this whole announcement for the Disney's Investor Day meeting where Kathleen Kennedy, it's that iconic photo of her standing in front of everything, and she's like, look, we're going to have women. We're going to have Patty Jenkins direct the movie. We're going to have Taika Waititi. We're going to have uh, Harvey Weinstein's former personal assistant direct the, you know, the female-led show, The Alkalite. And ironically, because Patty Jenkins, you know, Rogue Squadron movie is supposed to come out uh, December 2023, so I'm like, you probably should be starting filming that, you know, uh, right about now, if not, you know, a few months ago. But then all the news came out about how Patty Jenkins, uh, as you guys can see right here in this IGN article, Patty Jenkins' Star Wars film has been shelved. And so I did a video about that, you know, uh, six days ago. And in that video, I basically explained, and I did another video about this yesterday, uh, I explained my theory on why she was gone. I said, Patty Jenkins is going to go work on Cleopatra and Wonder Woman 3. She's going to go work with her good friend Gal Gadot. They're going to go make movies. She probably has much more creative freedom over at Warner Brothers. Look at all the people that have had to work with Kathleen Kennedy. She rules with a fucking iron thumb. Like, you cannot get out from under her thumb. She pushes you down. She did it with J.J., for whatever reason, she gave Ryan full control, which is weird, and that's why we got the shit show that is The Last Jedi. But Patty Jenkins, a woman that actually does have a little bit of power and a little bit of clout in Hollywood, she's not going to take Kathleen Kennedy's shit. She even explained how she had this heartfelt idea of creating the best fighter pilot movie ever because it's an ode to her father. She's not going to compromise for Kathleen Kennedy when she can go do other jobs, work with her friends, and, you know, make a shit ton of money. And I said that in this video. And then yesterday, all the headlines were like, oh my gosh, look at it. It's creative differences. It's creative differences. Patty Jenkins and Kathleen Kennedy didn't get along. And so I put out my video. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's not rocket science. It's like when you're walking on the street and you see somebody, you know, forgot to pick up after their dog. It's like, oh yeah, that's dog shit. It doesn't take a rocket science to look at a situation and be able to tell what it is, right? So uh, I put out my video yesterday going, I was right. And then of course, today, all the headlines are saying the exact same thing. So I'm just like, yeah, I was right. Now, about that situation, we're going to talk about the situation on why I was right again. So this news just dropped. Kathleen Kennedy's contract as Lucasfilm Re or, you know, at Lucasfilm. Why does it say contract as Lucasfilm renewed? That should be at Lucasfilm. Uh-oh. That's bad when I'm correcting <laughs> the typing and the grammar. But Okay, so Kathleen Kennedy, she's not leaving Lucasfilm. I have been saying this for years. This woman has so much power. Her Look who her husband is. Her husband is Frank Marshall. Kathleen Kennedy knows everyone. She is a woman in Hollywood. You watch any Oscar video, she's there in the background. You watch any BAFTA video, you know, when they have the big celebrations, without, she's always there. Heck, this woman was really good friends with Harvey Weinstein. 
nothing happened to her. I mean, look at what Harvey did. Look at all of his friends in Hollywood. Nothing happened to any of them. Nothing will ever happen to Kathleen Kennedy. She is way too powerful to be taken down. And, I mean, the only way that they could is if she was doing some really shady legal stuff. Maybe if she's, you know, cutting ties or cutting stuff with the IRS. I mean, the IRS might be able to take her down. But even then, she'll still retain her clout. Because it's like, oh, yeah, then they'll change the whole narrative to, oh, F the government for taking all of this woman's money. It's like, yes, yeah, she's got millions and millions of dollars. How terrible the IRS want her to pay money. And I'm not, I'm not a fan of the IRS by any way. Uh, you know, you guys suck. I hate you. Uh, that being said, I, everything is on time. By the way, guys, please don't destroy my life. Um, but I feel like that's the only way that she can get taken down. I mean, that's the only way that they took down Al Capone, but not, not to compare her to him. I, I obviously, there's a very big difference between being, you know, just a Hollywood executive and being a, uh, you know, gangster to that level. But that being said, this woman was really good friends with Harvey Weinstein. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've watched, you know, an Oscar award video and, you know, her sitting next to Harvey and, you know, they're t them all together. And, it's not guilt by association. I'm just saying, you're friends with that man for so many years and a bunch of people come out in Hollywood saying, oh, yeah, we all kind of knew, but we just didn't say any. Like, you can't, he's way too powerful. She's at that level. Why would she ever step down from Lucasfilm as the president of Lucasfilm? Why would she ever do that? I mean, me personally, I'm like, chick, you are kind of getting old. You don't have that many years left. Why wouldn't you go take your millions of dollars that you worked really hard to earn and go on a couple vacations? Go enjoy your life. Go spend time with your husband. Go spend time with your kid. Go do stuff. But I understand sometimes people can get bored in retirement. I mean, I personally... I don't know. I, I'd probably be taking advantage. I'd go be going around the world painting and stuff. But she likes power. She likes this. These are all of her friends. She's finally in a position where she's in complete control of everything. Why would she give that up? I mean, this is a <laughs> this is a very common trope within storytelling that, you know, once you gain power, it's really hard for you to give up said power. And why would she do it? She's at the height of her career. She's in control. It's The whole narrative is like, yes, whammon. She's literally a whammon in control. She's being put on a pedestal by everyone in Hollywood because they're so terrified of standing up to her. No matter how much she fucks up, the way that the media covers everything, she can do no wrong. So why would she ever leave? And I've said this over and over again. <laughs> you know, I'm like... that. It, the whole thing about, oh yeah, she's leaving, they're gonna kick her out, they're gonna do this. The only way she's leaving is if she volunteers to go into retirement, right? Volunteers. Volunteers? Volunteers. <laughs> if she says, okay guys, I'm tired of doing this, I, I want to go retire, uh, that's, that's the only way she's leaving, is if she wants to leave. And people are kind of confused about some of these things. It's like, okay, oh, her contract's being renewed. Guess who's writing the contract?! Oh my god, do you think the president of Lucasfilm has the power to reinstate their contract? Huh. The only other person that could say, no, get her out of here, is the CEO of freaking Disney, because Disney owns Lucasfilm. Do you think Bob Iger was going to get rid of her? No! Do you think Bob Chapek is going to get rid of her? Probably not! Because then he'd be, you know, labeled as a sexist, misogynistic man-baby, right? And then he would lose everything. So no, why would they ever get rid of her. They can't. They cannot get rid of her. The only way she's leaving is if she wants to retire and that's it. That's the only way she's leaving. And I have said this over and over again. I know that there's a lot of people that have hope. I, guys, I can read the rumors on Reddit and 4chan too. It's not happening. Look at this situation with common sense. This woman is too powerful, she likes the power that she has, and she's not giving it up for any reason unless she decides that it is what she wants, that it is in her better interest to go do something else, which isn't happening anytime soon by the looks of it. So, again, I was right. I've said this so many times <laughs> over the past few years. You can go find videos where I've said it. You can go find live streams. I'm not going to do what I did uh, yesterday in my I Was Right video where I go clip it because there is way too much uh, footage to go through and be able to clip. But, I mean, it's not hard to find. So, everyone... 
thank you so much for watching. I mean, sometimes it's nice being right. Other times it's like, I'm right. But it sucks that that's the reality of the situation, you know. But anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching this far through. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you didn't, that's okay, too. Thank you so much for watching this far through. And guys, I am actually shadow banned. So if you guys are uh, subscribed, make sure that you guys are still subscribed. If you guys haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications. When you go to ring the bell, you have these three options, which is all personalized and none. The only way you guys will get notifications for my video is by clicking the all button personalized does not work. Personalized and none are basically the same thing. So make sure that that bell is set to all. I have had confirmation that I am shadow banned. It really sucks. If it does show up on your news feed, that's good. Uh, you know, the, at least that that's a little glitch in the system. But the only way that my videos can get out there to, you know, a new audience or maybe even to you guys as well is by sharing them on social media. So again, please smash the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, and share the video. And everyone, thank you so much. I'd really appreciate it. YouTube is like smack down. <laughs> but uh, it is the reality of the situation. And that's the only way to fight it. So uh, please, if you guys haven't done that already, please go ahead and do so. And everyone, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you. Because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. Once again, thank you so much everyone for supporting my channel and my content. And I have a really exciting project that's live right now on Indiegogo. Due to requests from those of you in the chat that have been watching for a long time, I did a whole transformation video on going rogue for Halloween this year and some people suggested, hey Anna, you should do a calendar. So I did. It's live now on Indiegogo. The link is in the description of this video. G click it, go check it out, see the tiers that I have available and thank you very much everyone. I also have an Etsy where I sell prints of my original artwork like oil paintings and drawings of various characters. So go check it out. Link is in the description of this video. Thank you so much everyone. Have a great rest of your day.